So now tools for IGs. We're going to start off with Trifolia, which is Sarah. We don't have very long to talk about uh, the tools, so I'm going to go through the slides really fast and then I'm going to do a live demo of the tool. So Trifolio on Fire is um, Lantana's tool and it's, we have two tools. We have Trifolio, which is really for CDA. Um, we did try to use, we did try to make Trifolia able to do fire, but we found it was just too much. Um, so we, we, have, we now have a specific um, tool for Trifolia on fire. And by the way, my slides are, they're, they're missing letters all over the place. You can see we've got Trifolia on FHR because my laptop keyboard, own, half the keys don't work half the time right now. So I was trying to do these on the plane. And so missing letters, it's not because I'm just really bad at typing or anything or spelling, it's because of that. Uh, that's my excuse. Um, so first of all, Trifolia on fire, it's a web-based tool. Um, the back end is fire servers, the happy servers. Um, you can use uh, uh, release three and release four of fire right now. Um, and it's integrated with the HL7 fire implementation guide publisher. So you can take, you can start in Trifolia on fire and you can finish in Trifolia on fire. You can publish um, in there. Obviously you have to export and then put it into um, the continuous integration build, but we'll look at that in a second. Um, just quickly about pros and cons, because I think we're going to talk about pros and cons of the tool. Um, the pros are, the pro is definitely that. You can start from the beginning and go all the way to the end. The cons are that it's not very um, customizable. Right now it uses a, a, a template that has like certain things, you know, how when you have a, a fire implementation guide, you've got tabs across the top, so you've got like home and examples and profiles or whatever. It's not customizable right now. but. Lloyd has created, or is in the process of creating a new template, um, what? As we, speak. As, as we speak, he's working on it right now, that, it, that is customizable with those things. So once Lloyd's finished that, I imagine Sean will be pulling that all into Trifolia on Fire and uh, it'll, it'll be working to do that. So hopefully the, the big con right now will, will not be a big con soon. Um, so I'm going to try and go through these pretty quickly. Um, Trifolia and Fire, the main functions are creating and editing implementation guide, editing, creating and editing profiles and extensions, um, adding resources to an implementation guide. You can also do all the, um, the pages and narrative content of an implementation guide. Um, you can also publish it. Um, so these are just some, uh, I'm going to go through some of the main screens. So we have the browse implementation guide screen. Um, you can search for implementation guides, you can edit them, you can view them, delete them, change your ID, and, and add new ones. Um, so this is just creating an implementation guide. You click on this plus icon down at the bottom there. Uh, I'm not sure what that weird seven down at the bottom there is. Um, oh, HL7, just missing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that weird seven, it's weird without HL. Um, so then creating an implementation guide, so you browse edit your implementation guide, you click on the plus item, and then you can add all your information in here. So you'd add your you know, canonical URL, the name of the implementation guide, the, the title, um, all these things. You can add descriptions um, in here. Also you can add dependencies, and you can't see it on the screen, uh, but you can add dependencies, say to US core, um, and save your implementation guide. You can add IG resources, so this is in our resources tab for the implementation guide, and you can uh, click on that button there and then select any of the resources. So you can add uh, value sets or code systems, um, any of your examples, and obviously your structure definitions as well, which is uh, your profiles. Um, additional actions are adding pages, uh, creating, editing profiles, creating and editing terminology. You can also import files. So you can import from an XML file, from a JSON file. So if you already have a structure definition, uh, you can uh, just drag and drop those in. Uh, you can also import value sets from VSAC uh, and you can publish and export. So you can also, you, you can sort of go back and forth between XML or JSON and the tool. So if there's something that the tool can't do right now, uh, especially for examples um, that you, you can just do those manually and then pull them in later. Um, then you can also, this is how you publish an IG. So uh, you, you select the IG that you're working on. Um, you can either use the latest, I, this is a really good feature, you can either use the latest IG publisher or you can use one that is known to be working. Because what sometimes happens is the I, latest IG publisher has uh, an issue and it's stopping your IG from running. So you can just say no to that and then it'll use the last one I think that it knows works. Um, 
You can also uh, tell it to use the terminology ser server, which is where it goes and checks all your um, vocabulary. Uh, and you can download all this stuff. So you can, you can download it into a uh, zip file, which is exactly what you, you just need to um, unzip the zip file, and then you can use it with, this, the, with the continuous integration build, uh, the Fire continuous integration build. We are looking to integrate it with GitHub, uh, but that is not quite ready yet, but eventually. And you can also choose whether you want to, if you don't want to download it, then it, not, it doesn't matter whether you download the IG publisher jar with it or not, or what the output format is, but um, you can choose those things to come out in the zip file. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go out of here and do a fast demo. Um, so this is the tool. Okay. Um, so this is Trifolia on Fire. And um, so this is, so you can do lots of things here. You can browse implementation guides, profiles, capability statements, operation definitions, value sets, code systems, and questionnaires. So all these things that are um, in this list are things you can create and edit inside Trifolia on Fire. Other resources uh, you cannot, like um, patient or um, condition or observation or whatever, you can't actually create them or edit them in um, Trifolia right now. You have to do that outside the tool and then pull them in. Um, so we'll just quickly go and look at an implementation guide. Um, and, oh, that, I can't see where we are. Just gotta make sure we're on the right server. Um, Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so you don't, you don't I, I think that the, hmm, I don't see all the servers on here for some reason. Well, anyway. I was gonna show you the nifty little um, implementation guide that I created yesterday, but I guess I can't from this machine. So we'll just go look at one of the other ones. Um, HAI, maybe. Okay, so this is an implementation guide that um, is actually going through ballot right now. Um, and there's four buttons down here. You can uh, ed edit the implementation guide, you can view the implementation guide, you can delete the implementation guide, and you can change um, the ID of the implementation guide. So we'll quickly go in and... Can I what? Make it bigger. Um, so you would create an implementation guide, obviously, and you would set all these things up. You can get it to give you automatically um, an ID. You put in your own uh, URL, um, give it a title, give it a name, um, you know, set your publisher, make sure you set your fire version. Um, you can set up a, a description in here. Um, you can also set up dependencies. So you can see that this one's uh, dependent on US core. Um, there are, this is, this is kind of the quick page and it has all the, um, things that it's, uh, the resources on this page. But normally I just use this page for um, the basic metadata that you can see like right here. Um, our, what's the impact of setting a dependency? What is the impact of setting? Well, it means that you can then use US core resources. Profile, profiles? Yes, exactly. You can, you can uh, base a, one of your profiles on one of the US core profiles. So. Um, these are just general, same general kind of things we just had. So then you can put in uh, resource text, you can have a description, um, and uh, your pages. So these are your uh, markdown pages. So this is like relation to, to another standard. You just type it in here, um, and you got this little editor to do all, all your markdown stuff for you. Um, then we also, we'll skip a couple of these, and we have resources, so here you can just select uh, which resources you want to use. Um, you know, you could say you wanted to put a care plan in there, and oh, there, oh, there is one, so you could choose that one and add it. Um, we also have permissions, uh, which is kind of important to do if you want everybody else to be able to, or anybody else to be able to look at this, because it automatically just sets it up for you if you create it. 
Um, and then you have a validation thing. Um, and it's coming up with a warning. I won't worry about that right now. Um, and then we have raw. So this is actually the implementation guide um, raw. You can download it in JSON or you can download it here. It's kind of useful to look at this um, just, to, just to see what's going on. If there's something weird that you can't figure out, it's quite often useful to look at the XML as we'll see later because we'll be doing XML. Um, and it also gives you a history of all the changes. Um, so just go back to this page. I'm just going to show you one other thing. It would show you exactly what you would uh, regularly see on a um, on the FIRE website or, or the ballot website or whatever for your implementation guide is what should be there, um, but it's not. So. This is just... All right. Okay. All right. That's all I have.